have here is a 2018 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Mawa Fire Department. This vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint electrical control system with the 3.0 software installed. It also has the in-wing OBD2 interface that allows us to gain all the signals from the vehicle without splicing any wires. Starting off from the grill, we have sound off signal M powers. These are in a dual color configuration with the white override. In the front turn signals, we have sound off signal hideaway LEDs. In the lower fog lights, we have sound off signal M force with the sound off signal fog light kit. These are also in tricolor. On the side of the bumper, we have sound off signals M powers in tricolor. The roof mounted light bar on this vehicle is a sound off signal N-Force. This is in dual color configuration with front white plug inside. Under the mirror we have sound off signal intersectors in dual color. These also have the white override feature. We've installed a custom 3M graphics kit on this vehicle. On the running boards we have sound off signal 3 inch M-Powers. These also have the white override feature. On the back rear side bumper, we have the sound off signal 4 inch M powers. On the back spoiler, we have sound off signal M powers with the sound off signal bracket for the Tahoe. These are in tricolor. These have amber for arrow, red or blue for warning, and white for scene. On the rear license plate, we have sound of signal dual stacked end forces in red, blue, and white. In the parking lights, we have rewired the parking light ring to flash with the blueprint system, and we replaced the reverse bulb with a sound off signal hideaway LED. Down below, we have sound off signal 4 inch M powers. These are wired for hatch open, reverse, and rear seam. Mount of the rear hatch, we have sound off signal 3 inch M powers. Then on the inside of the rear hatch, we have sound off signal strip lights with the speakers for the radios that are installed into the hatch. These are installed with specialized brackets that allow the speakers to be removed without disassembling the hatch for easy serviceability. Taking a look at the custom command cabinet that's built for this vehicle. This features a full depth slide out on 600 pound drawer slides. We have an angled radio faceplate along with a side flip up ratcheting command board. We have storage for their med bag and other equipment here. We've got an iPad mount. And down below we have spot for an extinguisher. And then we have spot for other throw bags and whatnot. Taking a look at the back of the cabinet, we have storage for their radios and other larger equipment. As you can see, there's a cutout in the back of the cabinet. This allows their irons to go into the rear of the cabinet and not stick out the other end. As you can see, we have our electrical distribution center underneath here. This has the central controller for the blueprint system, along with the breakout boxes and the fuse panel for the equipment in the rear of the rear. Take a look at the center console. This is one of our standard consoles. This is coated with the Tough Coat product. It's got the blueprint controller and four customer supplied radios. We have reintegrated the USB device from GM. We've got cup holders. We've installed their flashlight along with their portable charger inside the rear compartment. Up top, we've installed the speakers to the headliner of the vehicle. These also feature the same brackets as the rear hatch. And then we've also installed the speakers to the side of the console. 